Hey, this is Professor Perez from Saddleback College. Today, we're gonna to be adding some large numbers. Charlie's favorite subject, it better be. Anyway, let's see what Charlie's up to. He better be ready. Hey, Charlie, what are you doing? What? what, what? You ready to go? Yeah. Okay, get your abacus out and a piece of paper and let's get to work. I don't know where the batteries are. I think this thing is dead. What? Battery. You what? don't need any batteries, Charlie. Well, get to work here. Okay, what? let's enter our first number. And our number is 65,234. Okay, so we'll begin by entering our ones first. We have four of those, so we'll record that, enter that there. Okay, now we'll go to our tens. We have a three. We'll go ahead and record that, enter that in our tens bead, right? Okay, now we'll go to our hundreds column, Charlie. What's that? Two. Two there. So we'll record and move your hundred speed to the two. Very good. Okay, now we go to our one thousand column, which is a five. Very good. So we'll enter that one. In our ten thousands column, we have a what, Charlie? Six. A six. So we'll go ahead and move our beat over to the six. Very nice, Charlie. Now, remember, let's review some place value. Okay, remember the pattern for place value was ones, tens, hundreds, okay? So we begin with our ones, tens, a hundreds, and then we move to the thousands. Well, we have one thousands, ten thousands, a hundred thousands. And then what comes after the thousands, Charlie? Millions. Millions, that's right. So then we go to the, after the thousands, we have the one millions, then the ten millions, then the hundred millions. What comes after millions? Billions. The billions, okay. Then you go to the one billions, ten billions, hundred billions. And what comes after billions, Charlie? Trillions. Trillions, okay. So then you go to the one trillions, ten trillions, hundred trillions. There. There you go. So that's some place value review. Okay. Now let's get back to work. In our abacus, we have now entered 65,234. So we're going to add to that number. 31,753. Okay, so here we go, Charlie. Let's start with our ones column. We have a four there, and we have to add how many more, Charlie? Three. Three, right? So that takes you to where? Seven. Seven. So we'll go ahead and record that. Seven. Okay, now we're in our tens column, Charlie. We have a three there, so we're going to add how many more? Five. Five, which takes you to where, Charlie? Eight. And eight, so we'll go ahead and record that. All right, Charlie, here we go. Now we're in the hundreds column. We have a two there, and we have to add how many more? Seven. Seven, that's right. So we'll go ahead and add seven there. That takes us to where? Nine. Nine in our hundreds column. We'll go ahead and record that one. Now, we're in our one thousands column. We have a five there. We have to add how many more, Charlie? One more. One more, so we'll add it, and that gives you how many, Charlie? Six. Six, okay, here we go. Now in our ten thousands column, we have a six there, and we have to add how many more, Charlie? Three more. Three more, and so when you add the three more there, you end up where? Nine. At nine, we'll go ahead and record that. And so, Charlie, what is our final answer? 96,987. That's right, 96,987. <laughs> Very nice, Charlie. Okay, now that we're warmed up, we're gonna move to another problem that does require some carryover. So don't get scared. Okay, here we go. This time what we're gonna do, we're gonna enter into our abacus 735,796. Now don't get scared, okay? In our ones column, Charlie. Six. We have a six, we'll record that and enter that one there. Very nice, okay. Now in our tens column, we have a nine, right? So we'll go ahead, write that down and move your tens bead to the nine. Very nice, Charlie. Now, we're in the hundreds column. We have a seven there, right? So go ahead, record your seven, and then move your hundreds speed to the seven. Very nice. Okay, now we'll go to our one thousandths column, and we have a five. So we'll go ahead and write that down, and move our one thousandths speed to the five. Very good. And now, we're in the ten thousandths column, right? And we have to enter a what, Charlie? Three. A three. So we'll go ahead and write that down. Move our 1,000 speed to the three. Very nice, and we have one more. We're in our 
hundred thousands column up there, right? And we have to enter that seven. So go ahead, write that down over there, and go ahead and move your hundred thousand speed to the seven. So there it is. We have now entered 735,796. There we go. So okay, Charlie, now we're gonna add to that number 65,873. Now don't get scared, just relax. Okay, let's start with the ones column, Charlie. We have a six there and we have to add how many more, Charlie? Three more. Three, that's right. So that'll take you to a nine and we'll go ahead and record. Now that was easy because there was no carryover. But now here we go. We're in our tens column, right? We have a nine there, Charlie, and we have to add how many more? Seven. Seven more, okay. So we gotta move seven times. Now, we're at the nine. Once we make the first move, we gotta carry it over, right? So nine, we'll make our first move. There it is. Notice we carry it over. And we still have to move how many more, Charlie? Six, six more, that's right. So now, in our tens column, we have a six there, right? And notice, in our hundreds column, we had a seven, but we carried one over to get that eight, okay? So record the six in your tens column, and notice there, Charlie, what's nine plus seven? Six. That is 16, there's your six, and you carried over the one. So now, we're in our hundreds column, and notice our beat is at an eight, because we had a seven before, and we carried the one over, okay? Now, in the hundreds column, right? We have an eight, we gotta add how many more, Charlie? We gotta eight add more. Eight more, okay. So here we go. We gotta add eight. So we're at eight, we add one, that takes us to nine. We add another one, that's where we have the carryover. So we now move two of the required eight. So we have how many more to go, Charlie? Six more. Six, that's right. So now, we're done in our hundreds column, we have the six, we'll go ahead and record it, okay? And now let's check our answer. We had a one plus seven plus an eight. We're in the hundreds column. And one plus seven is eight, plus eight more is that 16. So there's the six in the hundreds column and you carried over the one to the one thousandth column, okay? That's why in our one thousandth column up there, we now have a six, because we had a five and we carried over the one. Okay, now we're in our one thousandth column, Charlie. How many do we have to add? Five more, okay. So we have six, we gotta add five. So let's first add three, that takes us to the nine, okay? We'll add one more, there's where we have the carryover. So now we move four, and we still gotta move one more to make the full five moves, and there it is. We're at a one in our one thousandths column, so we'll go ahead and record that. Now again, you can check your answer. Notice, in the one thousandths column, you have a one, a five, and a five. And when you add all those together, you do get the 11. There's the one with the one carried over there. There we go. Now, where are we at now, Charlie? The 10 thousandths. We're in the 10 thousandths column, very good. So notice, we have a four in our 10 thousandths column because we had a three, we carried over the one, and we have to add how many more? Six. Six more, that's right, Charlie. So we're at the four. Well, if we know if we move five, that takes us to the nine, we still have one more, but that's where we get the carryover, right? So we carry over to our hundred thousands column, one of those, right? Okay, so now we go ahead and record a zero in our ten thousands column. Now we'll notice again, in the ten thousands column, you have a one, a three, and a six, which is ten. There's the zero, and you carry it over the one. All right, Charlie, we got one last thing to do. Bring us home, Charlie. Eight, that's just add eight, one. right? We're not adding anything to that, so we'll go ahead and record the eight. And there's our final answer. 801,669. So that's 801,669. Now that's a big number, and we're doing it without a calculator. Remember, you don't want to become one of those calculator kids out there. What? Okay? You can use a calculator later, but not when you're taking my test. Anyway, we'll see you later, Charlie. Be sure you're keeping up with the homework. Now, the next time we come back, we're gonna do some subtraction problems. And oh. there's where you have to do some borrowing. So, oh. anyway, we'll see you all soon. Get to work, Charlie. Well, okay.